United States of America, known as Land of the Free, Home of the Brave, has come to symbolize freedom throughout the world. People from all nations and from all walks of life have called the United States home. The United States has welcomed them with open arms. Indeed, the famed Statue of Liberty is the embodiment of this dream. In New York's public education system alone, its student body represents 145 countries. The United States has a deep affinity with Supreme Master Ching Hai. With her boundless love and compassion, Supreme Master Ching Hai has provided humanitarian assistance to many parts of the United States. In 1993, she sent relief teams to provide financial and material assistance to the victims of the six Midwestern states that were severely affected by heavy rain and flooding. On December 27, 1997, at the Benefit Concert, A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms, Supreme Master Ching Hai generously contributed 100,000 U.S. dollars each to the Vietnam Children's Fund and the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. The following year, at another Benefit Concert, One World of Peace Through Music, she once more contributed generously, with two charity organizations being the recipients of her love. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital received $150,000 U.S. dollars, and the Starlight Children's Foundation received a check for $100,000 U.S. dollars. Additionally, in the face of one of the worst human tragedies ever to occur on U.S. soil, on September 11, 2001, Supreme Master Ching Hai responded immediately, sending relief teams from around the country and all over the world to Ground Zero in New York City. Supreme Master Ching Hai's financial contributions amounted to over 300,000 U.S. dollars to organizations aiding the victims. To this day, Supreme Master Ching Hai continues to extend her loving compassion to all parts of the U.S., from Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, and Alabama, to California, Florida, Texas, Hawaii, and other states. We now invite you to listen to the following lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai entitled, Have No Illusions About Enlightenment, given on November 27, 1993, in San Francisco, California, USA. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try it alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. In the teachings of Christ, he stated, None shall go to the Father but me. How do you get but past me? How do you get past these doctrines which bring feelings of guilt into your meditation practice? We have uh, discussed about that before, about the mind who gives us trouble and prejudice and uh, previous knowledge. Jesus said, No one go through the Father except through me. That is correct. And again, any master who is worth his name would say the same thing. Same Buddha say the same thing. If you don't meet a living a Buddha, it's difficult to get liberation, that's what he said. Okay. That's why it makes the Buddhists believe that Buddha is the only one. <laughs> and because Jesus said that and it's recorded, so the Christians believe that Christ is the only one. Yes. But any living master would say the same thing. If you come to me, I will help you to the Father, because the Master is connected with the Father. We are also connected somehow, but we just need a little help to lift up, that's all. And that is called initiation and enlightenment. Now, the, uh, the guilt, you should not bother. You can carry it if you want, but it doesn't serve anything. Ask yourself, 
whether the Bible or any scripture, doesn't matter how well written, could bring you in the presence of God right now. And if not, then we can study the Bible and get in touch with God at the same time. Doesn't matter by what me. Because our purpose, our intention is pure. We worship God. We want to find God. And whoever or whatever means can bring us nearer to God. That is the purpose of the Bible, the purpose of Christ or anyone. And then remember again, Jesus said, I am the light and the way of the world, as long as I am in the world. He said that, no? Okay. So after he's gone, he's not the light and the way, in a physical sense. So he has left us some of the teaching which guide us in our daily life. This is very good. But there's something of a silent nature that we have not got. That is the, the silent teaching. That can only be transmitted through silence. And that is the most important thing that makes us see God and bring us nearer to God. So whoever can help us in this way, you should not feel guilty to come to Him. Dear Master, what can be done for the poor people in the Middle East that long and pray for peace and don't get it? What is your relation to Judaism? You never mentioned Judaism in your teachings. Oh, sorry. I can't mention all things in one lecture, but I study uh, Judaism. I read uh, many books of um, Jews and I understood all of them. It's no need to mention all the religions because to me, they all say the same thing. Only after enlightenment you understand so many things that I don't have time to mention now or the whole rest of my life. You will understand it and that's the best way because that's be yours. If I just teach you always with my mouth and with the oral teaching and whatever knowledge I have, I pass on to you, and what, what will you be? You don't know it yourself, you don't experience yourself. Just second-hand stuff, okay? Now, uh, the first question, what do we do with the poor people in the Middle East? Because they don't have peace. We also don't have peace in the West either. It's different war, economical war, skeptical war, an enlightened war, spiritual war, discrimination war racist war, anything is a war, if it doesn't give us love, kindness and peace in our heart. So I think now we are here, first we take care of ourselves, get peace first. Okay. Why has the right meditation method been kept a secret? Are there dangers on the road of this method? Uh, sometimes, yes, sometimes. Because the problem is the method, it's never a method. It's not something that you can write down. And then you, you look at it and then you get it. it. It's transmitted within the soul, within the wisdom seat of, of your being. It's not to be spoken by language, not to be written, and not to be learned by any other way. That's why a master, a living teacher is necessary, because it's not oral, it's not physical. Can you understand what I mean? Yes, thank you. Let me be more specific. You cannot just read romance, a novel, and then fall in love with the fall in love uh, feeling, no? You have to have a person. <laughs> so transmit the love between each other in order so you to feel, for you to feel the love. And a description of the mother's love will never satisfy a child. Is that right? Until the real mother comes. And just give it to him without saying anything. Don't need to write any book about it. Right? The child will be happy right away. And he knows it right away. And he's knowing. You cannot know. Because this is not the, the way. You know what I mean? Love is something we cannot write it down and be satisfied with and experience it. 
how much more the greatest spirit in the universe. We cannot describe it in language. We cannot teach it by any physical means. It just has to be realized through a realized person, through the help of a realized person. Okay? Thank you. Master, I cannot initiate with you tonight. Is there another time? <laughs> yes, uh, any time up to three months. Uh, if uh, I'm not here and, and you want to get initiation, uh, you should uh, prepare yourself vegetarian diet for three months or so. Then I send someone. If I'm here, you can get initiation right away without any preparation. How does one know when one is ready for initiation? But if you don't know, who else? Hmm? <laughs> if you want it, that means you're ready. If you don't, means you're not. Okay? Why do you say that your students should not use their energy or strength to heal? What risk oh, no, no risk. does one encounter? No risk. But we should not steal the job of the spiritual healers because each one has different job. Yeah? And if you want to train to be another in another field, yeah, then you should not mess about with another field. This confuses you, okay? Because the spiritual healers, the real one, you know, many of them have got mission. Uh, they stand on their hands. They, they have to do it. They, they like to do it. Yes. There's too many spiritual healers. Then everybody heals themselves and nobody gets sick and the doctors will be out of job and the healers will be out of job. And <laughs> What shall we do with all this? <laughs> we all come from the sound. Where does the sound come from? <laughs> that you have to ask the sound. <laughs> That's a many, one of the many questions. Yes. The sound just exists itself. Right? Many things exist alone. Is enlightenment progressive or instantaneous? Instantaneous, if we have the right friend, the right guide. Progressive, we will try many methods and try many teachers. Or we go around shopping, shopping from one master to the next. Dear Master, you are the supreme and artistic master. When you create, I wonder, you are artist or master. What are the differences between masters and artists? While you are so busy with lectures, charities, interviewers from all kinds of organizations, TV, radio, newspapers, etc., do you still have time to create any painting? Thanks a lot, Master. No, I don't know. I just do whatever comes at that time. Yes, yeah, so when I have time, then I paint. It doesn't take long to paint or to design the dress. Five minutes for a dress designing and half an hour or two hours for painting. I don't sleep much, I don't eat much, so probably these are the time for me <laughs> in the evening. Or sometimes uh, between the lecture you have time break, or you just feel inspired, uh, so that is the time I paint or design artistic objects. Every one of us has to work anyhow, so we have to use our creative power to uh, uh, contribute to the beauty of this world and at the same time could support our physical need so we don't burden societies and whatever we give out it could be freely received and in a relaxed and uh, secure feeling not to oblige people with financial obligation or make them fear that they will before they know the product, they already have to pay, <laughs> something like that. It is my opinion anyhow, yes. Why did Jesus perform the famous miracle of feeding 3,000 people with five bread and two fishes? Why didn't Jesus feed them with bread only if Jesus is a vegetarian himself and wants people to be vegetarians? Mm -hmm. True. But some people don't like to be vegetarian. You can't, you can't force them. Some teacher resorts to miracles sometimes, only sometimes. Therefore, you don't see Jesus do this every day. You see? Only once or twice. 
because it was necessary. It was in a circumstance that he couldn't do otherwise, so he has to do it. But this uh, miracle you can learn if you want it. Still, nowadays, some master in India still do it. You want to give you the address to learn. People still float on water, walk on air, eat nothing, or stop breathing for a long time or forever without dying. These are some uh, alchemist uh, uh, secret, yes, that when you learn some kind of construction, the universal construction, you can know how to mix things together. Sometimes you can transform a dead body into delicious pudding, yeah, if you want it, <laughs> or stones into bread and to fish even. I suppose you are in the West and you know better than I do. You don't need to ask this question even. Read books. There's so many books on this subject that people make research in India. There's still masters or spiritual people, not, not necessarily a master. So you can, uh, you know, transform just anything or nothing into bread. Yes, but they don't do it often for show. Just very special occasion. Hmm? Very easy. It's no problem. Uh, Many people don't want to eat vegetarian, so Jesus was very compassionate and diplomatic. Could you please tell me where I could find the books that states the Bible also wants people to keep strict vegetarian diet? Oh, it's in the Bible itself. Like in Psalm 78, if I remember correctly, there are many books, there's so many quotations. I think in our booklet, Why People Vegetarian, we have collected some of the uh, passages in the Bible which state that people should be vegetarian. Please refer to that. And if any more information that you need or you still in doubt, please write to me, okay? Otherwise, we go on and on about Bible references and people like to ask other questions. Thank you. Practices. Okay, let, let me say one example, otherwise he can't sleep tonight. <laughs> See, <laughs> Psalm 78, people ask God for meat and God pour down meat like rain to them. And after that, they, He slain them all. And they say, meat for the belly, belly for the meat, and God shall destroy both meat and them. And another one passage, he say, who told you to kill all these she goats and he buffalo to make offering to me. Wash yourself from all this innocent blood, otherwise when you pray, I will turn my head away, etc. Is that not so? You remember this? Any of you remember? Please raise your hand. Thank you very much. So you see. Vegetarianism in religion. The Baha'i Faith. Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings of Some Aspects of Health and Healing Buddhism All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra Also, after the birth of the baby, Care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat because at the difficult time of birth there are innumerable evil demons, monsters and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption they bring down curses upon themselves which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. Kasiti Garba Sutra be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying, or creating evil karma by worshipping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious. Thus, delay his rebirth to a good state, Karma means retribution. Kasiti Garba Sutra. Gaudai. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. 
If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible Confucianism All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius Essenes I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood, and if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve Hinduism Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adelila He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures, lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu Islam Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith Jainism A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been specially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Katanga Judaism And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible Blood meaning flesh Sikhism Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib Taoism Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way Tibetan Buddhism The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism those plants, I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow. Avesta. If a person initiates and practices well, could he or she come back and to marry and help a particular person whom he or she cares very much in the next life? Yes, definitely. That's very noble. But maybe you have to think twice because it's a very difficult job. <laughs> you can get married anytime you want, before or after initiation. This is a Chinese translation. How can we raise our conscious level if we are not vegetarians? Can we achieve enlightenment? by ourselves? We can do it by ourselves. I told you already, but it's difficult because there will be some doubt and some danger even by our self-making. And we need some people, some experienced person to explain to us, to guide us until we are sure of our path. Yeah? <laughs> what is the first question? How can we raise our conscious level if we are not vegetarians? Oh, I see. We can. We can do that also. But unto, only up to a certain extent. And because of the killing karma, which we get the killing, we might have to suffer. Or we cannot go up because of the heavy pulling of these uh, lower energy from the lower species of life, such as animal. We human being has a higher energy than animal. If we take animal energy, it's become kind of um, heavy. Yeah? <laughs> Why do you not recommend spiritual healing? Because people do that already. Why should I recommend? Yeah? 
I am not here to teach spiritual healing. If you want to do spiritual healing, you, you go to the spiritual healer. I don't sell every product here. <laughs> you go to the wrong shop. <laughs> In your meditations, have you ever had a vision concerning the role of the U.S. in regards to world peace? We don't need meditation to see that. Hmm? I don't want to cheat you. <laughs> because U.S. has always been the big brother of the world, and it is rightly so. In the past, the U.S., um, sometimes the Russia as well, yes has the U.S. has always had the knack of recognizing talented people, whether scientific or medical, great personage, and they always acknowledge them, give them the due honor and treat them well and help them in many ways to develop their talent. And that's what makes the America great. And they always have been protecting the world with whatever mean they can. And therefore, still, USA will be in the leading role. Otherwise, you see, lately, Europe still look up to America to ask President Clinton to send troops, send army into Bosnia, right? Is that not so? Am I correct? Correct? Thank you. Yeah, and I go further. Okay. But President Clinton uh, didn't want to waste Americans' life anymore. So it was good, in my opinion. But for that, he got a lot of criticism <laughs> for saving Americans' life. But even then, people were still looking up to America as a leading role. Hmm? And lately, unintentionally, my disciple have spoke about my award from the U.S. government. And because they have given me a spiritual teacher, such an honor. God will honor them. So America will be great again and be a leading brother. I'm not saying that because they make me feel good, but because the law of as you sow, so shall you reap. If you honor someone, and especially if that someone worship God and live for God and serve God alone, that means you honor God, and God will see that you get the church reward. So congratulations. <laughs> will the mind and spirit be uplifted through the use of the inner healing process? Yes, 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 yes. That's how we heal ourselves, yes. And that's how the spiritual healer use their energy to heal people at the expense of their sacrifice. I'm an HIV. AIDS person? Yes. Can you help me? Um, I did try to help. We set aside $100,000 or more, $200,000 for research to help the AIDS victim. I hope that that is the help I can render. Otherwise, the best help and the long-lasting help from yourself. You have to find God, seek God, and He will help you. Hmm? How does one live happily in this world where the material things, such as money, affects, and sometimes dominates our day-to-day -day existence, and still keep our respect for our time self? Respect for what? I think they mean respect themselves and still live with this money oh, 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 attitude I understand, we have. I understand. You are just too honest, foolishly honest. Yes. We have to earn the money, honey. Yes? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah? Uh, to earn money in an honest way by the sweat of our labor is it allowed. It's even written as a duty in the Bible. So to earn your money live a good life and share with the needy people from your finance. For those who were initiated and due to certain reasons could not be on the path, would they suffer any punishment? Well, it takes a little bit longer time and maybe sometimes a little more suffering. 
but the master, we also cannot leave that kind of disciple. Hmm? If you want it quick and less suffering, then you have a responsibility to uh, stay on the path. If not, then just take longer time, okay? A few lifetime. Not one lifetime, a few lifetime. Why should we not eat food which has been offered to our ancestors? So you do what you want. <laughs> I do not interfere. But uh, because our ancestors have all gone, so whatever the food we offer is only for the flies and for the ants or, you know, it's unhygienic. And especially in hot country or in, in the, you know, the country with the less modern equipment and a lot of flies and, you know, hot weather will make the food rotten. And if you s keep the food on the altar for hours on end and then eat it later, cold and, you know, rotten, it's just no good for you. The logical reason is that our ancestors are all gone. If they've gone to heaven, God will feed them. If they go to hell, they can't eat them anyhow. If they have been reincarnated as human beings, surely your food won't reach them. Besides, you feed them only once a while. They'll be hungry to death in between already. My parents are members of your belief and I, their daughter, am not, and do not know if I will be in this life. I want to be with them in this life and in the world beyond. Is this possible if I am still not a member of your organization in this lifetime? It's possible, but maybe you have to wait a little while. You see, an initiated person, if uh, he or she practice diligently, she will go to a higher dimension. And a relative, of an initiated person will also go to high dimension through the grace of the master as well as the marriage of the wife or the mother, but not as high, not as high as the practitioner himself. So choose your path. Yeah? If you want to be with her, you love her that much, then you have to show your love. When we feed our pets meat products, is that a sin? You get me into trouble for anything. I have to look after pet as well now. I become a pet doctor. I'm only a spiritual teacher. Mm. You see, because your love for the pet, you will give him whatever he wants, but sometimes not good for him. I saw many dogs are vegetarian. Cat is difficult, but I fed him with vegetarian food also. So see what you can do. If you can train him, it's better. <laughs> if not, then you have to share with him your merit of meditation somehow. Maybe he get liberation and go with you. And then if he demand meat in heaven, then you'll be in trouble again. <laughs> can you speak on the matter of the sound current in relation to various mantras such as who, H-U? Which do you recommend? Hu H U. Matter of Sakura in relation to various mantras such as Hu. Ah, ha, ha, ha. okay, okay, okay. You see, when we chant any mantra, a Hu, Hu is an ancient mantra, and I think uh, Paul Tricho has brought it back into uh, modern practice in a meditation group called Akanka. No. Now. When we chant, we chant Hu or any mantra, Om, yes, or any other mantra. And when we get to the seat of the mantra, we will merge into this, the outer sound of the mantra. And at that time, we'll be able to hear the sound current from inside as well. And the real Hu will vibrate inside our being and the whole being instead of having to speak it through the mouth. Most of the mantra are from inside, and some practitioners in the past have uh, written it down for his own introspection. Just like after initiation, uh, uh, we would uh, give you a kind of spiritual diary so you can record your progress every day, just for your introspection, yes? And some do record it, and if we die, we, we left the diary sometimes behind, untouched, and other people look at it and say, oh, 
For example, today I meditate, and inside I, I heard the master teach me some new mantra for my own particular healing, sickness, or some kind of problem. And I repeat it all day, or maybe half an hour, and then I feel it's good. I feel good. So I write in my diary, I say, well, heal mantra is good for headache. Yeah, migraine, yes. <laughs> if you repeat it 100,000 times, you know what I mean? But that was because I was taught inside by the master and the sound vibrated inside all the time. I don't need to repeat it by mouth. But when I wrote like that, people read it and he repeated it. But because of his concentration and sincerity, he probably will transport himself into the house of mantra, into the house of the universe, and then he hear the real hue, the real sound of mantra. Okay? I hope that satisfies you. <laughs> Some prescribed drugs are blocking the clarity of my mind. How do I meditate with this problem? Do you mean with drug? Yes, they have to take a drug that's a legal drug, but oh. it oh, I see, I bothers see. the meditation. When we meditate, after some time, we don't need drug, really. If you have to, sometimes it will go uh, far off alone. Do you have an exercise that will allow me to be conscious at the moment of sleep, but before dreaming? Yes, I have. Meditation. Very good exercise. You just lay there and concentrate on the third eye wisdom, and then before you sleep, you have a good dream. Okay? <laughs> Very simple exercise. How do you know who is your living master? You feel the affinity with that master. Or if not, if you're not sure, you pray to highest power, to the Most High, to Jesus, to Buddha, to guide you. And then sooner or later, that master will come. Make sure you recognize. Yeah? If you keep rejecting from one after another, after some time, Jesus fed up and say, What do you want? <laughs> I send you already three. <laughs> A living master is the one who only served the world without wanting any reward. And even if he's not a living master, if you still doubt him, you can come in and try. Because that living master will offer you everything free of obligation. So for the star, you don't lose anything. And you don't fear anything. You can walk out any time. Okay? So make sure you get uh, the real master when they come. What are your suggestions to unblock the mind so that it is possible to meditate? My mind is very active and it is difficult for me to meditate. Don't block it. Mm? You just meditate. And then later time, uh, after 20 minutes or so, the mind will go to sleep. You get tired and you win. And then from then on, it's the soul who takes place and you will enjoy meditation. Take patience, yeah? If you don't succeed today, I try it again tomorrow, and next day, you will win at the end. Don't worry, okay? But uh, most of the Kuan Yin practitioners, is, for them, it's easy to settle down because God power help them to lift them up quicker. Dear Master Ching Hai, how are you? A few nights ago, I met you in my dreams. I think that I know you in the past lives. And when you saw me, you said, why I see you over there, over here. Before I woke up, you asked me a question. How do you feel? I said, very good, very good, in the dream. In the dream, it seemed like we knew each other from a long time. I'm very grateful to you in a dream. Thank you, Master Ching Hai. Can you say about my dream? Thank you very much, Master Ching Hai. What else to say, huh? Do you consider lesbian and gay relationships sexual misconduct? No. You see, mis this is a kind of misidentification, yes? But it's okay. You can meditate and later you will know your real self. And sexual problem is not one of the worst kind <laughs> in our world. So don't worry, free yourself. It's even if it is not good, or is it good, who judge you? 
I'm not. No one judge you. Just free yourself. Enjoy your life. Be as good as possible. Meditate. Hmm? <laughs> See, life after life, we have been men, women, because of our tendency to attach ourselves to the form that we reside at that time. And then so after some time we reborn again into a man body and we forgot to switch off the past button. <laughs> and so we view, you know, we view ourselves as a woman <laughs> in, in a male body. So sometimes we misidentify. But everybody misidentify themselves in one form or another anyhow. We, all of us, misidentify ourselves because we think we are the doctor this and that and Mr. so and so instead of recognize that we are the Supreme. We came from the Supreme and we will go back to the Supreme. Or where else do you think you come from? The ceiling? <laughs> hmm? And then you go back where? What does initiation mean in Chinese? Is initiation the same as Kuei Yi or not? Originally, yes, it's the same as Kui, but another name for it is In Sing, means uh, use your heart to transmit to the heart, I mean to the soul. Thank you for your cooperation and your loving support. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. We thank you for your company for today's episode of Words of Wisdom. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more uplifting and constructive programs. 24 hours a day, every day of the week. God bless and farewell for now. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.